while doing the rounds talking about Shazam Fury of the Gods, his career, and where he is now, Zachary Levi opens up about being cast in the MCU as part of the Warriors 3, and how he was sold on accepting the role by Marvel Studios by being told that he would have a pretty epic role that involved swashbuckling and a lot of fun. And then he did nothing. Who would have thought that Zachary Levi's biggest film would be Thor, where he played Fendril? Well, he recently talked a little bit about that, specifically the casting process, of course, meeting with the director of the film, Kenneth Branagh, getting pitched the role, and eventually talking to Marvel Studios. And he said that at first, obviously, he was in the running for multiple roles, and when he got the call, he was like, oh man, I guess I'm not going to be playing Captain America, am I? Because again, everybody in Hollywood was going for that. And we know Marvel Studios, by looking for multiple actors to play Captain America, found a lot of other roles for other films. And he said, since he lost out on that, since he lost out on Thor and everything else, they came back to him and said, wouldn't you like to be playing a fun, crazy character? There's going to be crazy events. Your character, Fendril, swashbuckling guy in space, a knight, if you will. Eh? What do you think? You want this contract? You want this? It's going to be awesome, right? It's going to be a fun role. We're going to have some stuff for you to do. And he says Marvel Studios lied to him in this regard because, um, well, there wasn't a whole lot to it, was there? He said uh, they told him he would also be a huge part in Thor The Dark World after the introduction in the uh, first film. But then that ended up changing due to director changes and the ideas for Thor The Dark World. So ultimately, all of it was kind of um, removed. And he never got what he was promised. He said he's only seen the first Thor, never watched the second one. He feels like the crew wasn't utilized. The Warriors 3 were kind of wasted, which I 100% agree with. I think all of them in Sif were 100% wasted. Um, Just went nowhere. And I really like those characters too. Especially Ray Stevenson as Volstag. Come on. Come on. What a waste. But we do know that after this, he was rather disappointed. And instead of signing on again to do it again, he was like, yeah, I'll just go take on this Shazam role because um, that's what James Gunn is telling me to do. It's probably going to be better for my career. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, the grass is greener on the other side, especially when looking at the options of starring in your own franchise versus literally playing like ninth fiddle to the MCU. So, yeah. <laughs>